Hey friends, come on in, take your shoes off, have a seat, and consider staying a while by clicking that subscribe button. know that although we aren't stopping our search to finding our homestead we definitely can't afford anything in this area right now this market is just crazy things are flying off of the market people are offering crazy amounts of money that we can't compete with and so we started to look at ways around our house that we could become more self-sufficient and essentially become an urban homestead welcome to our new series urban homestead where I'm going to be showing you guys how we are accomplishing this. It's starting to get colder outside. It's already snowed once here. There isn't a ton that we can prepare outside until spring. There are a few items we need to get. We're talking about a greenhouse right now and even a chicken coop. We're looking into those options but for these first few videos we are just focusing on the inside of our house, what improvements we can make as far as security goes, as well as what we can do to not rely on um, electronics and um, just devices in general so much. I do 99% of the grocery shopping and the cooking in our house and so my mind immediately went to what kitchen appliances do I use um, that are either electronic um, or, or just modern that would not survive if the power went out or if I didn't have supplies to continually restock it. The very first thought that popped into my head when I started to think about this was our coffee maker because that is the first thing that I reach for when I get up in the morning. I love to sit and do a devotional or read my Bible and um, have a nice hot cup of coffee, especially with it getting colder outside. And my husband definitely needs his coffee to survive his work day. Um, but obviously in a grid down situation, this wouldn't work. Or even if we only had electricity for X amount of hours during a day, this would be useless. And honestly, we wouldn't want to waste electricity on this. Obviously the answer is a stove this is a gas stove we purposely put this in because we have had the electricity go out here before we can cook on it it's great i bought a stove top coffee maker this was 37 dollars off of amazon it makes up to nine cups which is just my husband and i here so that is perfect it does leave fingerprints on here you have to wipe it off often but the thing i loved about this was there is no plastic pieces there's a glass top here and the handle is wood so there's no cheap flimsy plastic pieces in it everything is metal and therefore is less likely to break so i really like this and all the reviews are really good again i'll pop up or i probably already have uh the exact product where i got it um again though this is the easiest solution is to be able to either make this on our soap also this is a camping um coffee pot so if you did have to bug out you can easily take this with you and cook it over a fire or even if you got the wood burning um portable stove like we did it will cook on there as well so purchased a nice coffee grinder um, to go with it. We buy our coffee grounded already. Um, I have a pretty good stockpile of coffee, so I won't be grinding anything with this today, but we will probably once our coffee supply runs out or even beforehand, depending on what happens in the near future, um, we'll probably buy coffee beans in bulk and that way we'll grind them ourselves. I think it'll save us money as well. But coffee maker did come with its own filters and it didn't give very many. I think there's like a 15 count in here. So you will have to replace these but obviously you could easily make your own out of regular filters with these it would probably be cheaper um, but just letting you know it did come in the or this came in the box with it what to do is fill this with coffee to the desired cup it did say do not go over nine cups because it will boil over onto your stove and obviously like scorch hot coffee on your stove and that will be a mess to clean up then you stick one of these on top and then you just put your coffee in there Close it and let it boil.
guys think about our coffee improvement? Do you guys use one of these? How do you like it? Um, do you think this is a good thing to keep around for an SHTF situation? Let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. It's free. It only takes a second and it really helps my channel out. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs down. That helps my channel out as well. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye.